Hi everyone, my name is Lucas Ferreira and I'm here to make my presentation. The subject that I chose is electric cars and batteries. Uh, so starting with the technology and how electric cars and high performance batteries will change the future. Uh, so as we know, the world is, co world is constantly changing and requires new technologies to solve problems that other technologies have caused. For example, we have now uh, the petrol issue. So we have as a solution the batteries that it's clean and reduces the CO2 emissions. Uh, and despite this benefit, we have such an increase in power and efficient. So it's an interesting topic to discuss about it. So uh, as we know, the replacement of petrol is urgent and it's, it's the moment that high performance batteries are the best choice in terms of, of energy, energy efficiency, pollution and production costs. A battery based on a clean energy can reduce pollution by more than 70% and lasts up to 20 years in a normal condition or 12 years in stream conditions. Uh, and what it makes it special. So I separate here advantages and benefits. So the biggest advantage is it's widely known as a recharging cost is lower than compared to any other fossil fuel resources. Constantly evolution of the technology bringing more autonomy with less space. So we have smaller and smaller batteries. Uh, no aging power loss in comparison to the conventional models. So talking about the cars. So we have basically the same power or sometimes we have more powerful cars. Even with the batteries, small batteries, which changes is just the range. And some of the benefits that I separate here is reduce the rate as per government incentive. So every government has some targets to reach in 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, cheaper maintenance, so comp components are less subject to the damage from the used weather conditions. Uh, cost saving only to advancement in electricity battery technology. So we have now uh, the solid state that is probably the next step that we are going to take as a society and in partnership with the other tech companies. So who are the, the who disputes this technology and benefits? Who are the, the market players? So far we have the automotive field. So uh, the big brands that already works in this field. So we have as a innovation uh, a Tesla, but we have other uh, classic companies as a Volkswagen. You have like other automotive companies and they together uh, sold more than 6 million vehicles just in 2021. However, the rapid spread of the technology applied to new markets such as Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi. So all of these big techs, they are investing a lot to get benefits from this kind of technology in their products too. Even for automotive field, for example, we have uh, Apple investing in cars, and we have Xiaomi investing in cars and motor bikes. So they are not thinking just about the automotive field, but in their products too. So imagine the next mobile or other devices that can be uh, using can can have the benefit of this kind of technology, and uh, the the big step that they will have. In addition to the big techs, we have also the introduction of the agricultural markets in the heavy machinery. So they are aiming for more efficiency uh, in the way that they are producing nowadays. So imagine the, the heavy machines using these kind of batteries and how they can be more efficient in their work and how this can, see, can be beneficial to the whole society. So here we have the cheap and green. Uh, so we have more advantages. Uh, we brought a report from Nature brought the star price of lithium ion. Nowadays, known as the most efficient conductor of energy for the batteries. So you can see in the graph here, since 1991 to 2016, the, the price has just plummeted. So uh, it's getting more and more uh, as a commodity, we can say that. But the, the technology to use this, um, this item is the key 
to be success successful in this field in the near future. So besides there is a huge potential related to the technology known as a solid state we can, which can improve the performance far beyond. So compared to the batteries that we have nowadays, the solid state can be sometimes uh, 80% more efficient. Uh, it can be recharged in much less time and it can last much more. So what is the future scenario for that? So according to the national grid, uh, the demand will increase in the next year for sure. However, when we think about technology scenarios in a long period of time, we can be very surprised as we can see in the graph. So we are in 2022. So until 2050, we will have like the electricity, hydrogen and natural gas uh, field growing a lot. And the petrol diesel, it's going to be, it's going to plummet it for sure. But the amount of the energy required to sustain the, this, this changing in this scenario will be much less needed because even the technology that we are holding now in the next with the solid state batteries and the other ones that will become in the future will be much more efficient. So we can do the same thing with less power. So we don't have to increase exponentially as we have the changing to the petrol fuel cars to electricity cars. So the logic is simple. We are involved so fast that the cars will be even more efficient and require less power to do the same things. That's what this graph shows us. So here we have an overview. So innovation, we have best technology so far with the potential to be even better with the solid state discovery. The benefits is reduce the CO2 emissions in almost 70% compared to the conventional cars. Uh, timing is expected by 2035, 70% of cars sold will be electric. Scalability, so growth targets are ambitious for all of these companies and they depend to, so far to few suppliers. So this can be a problem, bro. but probably we have more universities and more people uh, gathering about this topic and probably we have more people disputing this field too, this market. And duration, those batteries were built to last irregular conditions for up to 20 years. But as I said before, uh, the solid state can change this and extend it even more. So maybe 25 or 30 years, it, it's, it's not, it's not going to be impossible. Uh, in a network, uh, governments need to invest heavily in elect electrical networks expansion, uh, as we saw in the graph before. Um, we need more expansion in the network, but not like we think when we think about the increasing the, the quantity, the amount of cars in the streets or the batteries that will be needed to be charged because that technology probably will require less power than we need it nowadays. So that is uh, the, the most important thing about this topic. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.